Vince Franco impression. Okay, so last night I watched the movie This Is The End, starring Jonah Hill, Seth Rogen, James Franco, Craig Robinson, uh, Danny McBride, and uh, Jay Baruchel. I just call him the voice from the guy who trained a dragon. The plot to the movie This Is The End, these guys back here go to James Franco's house party. A little bit later, the apocalypse unfolds on the Hollywood Hills. This movie's written and co-directed by Seth Rogen, and I enjoy Seth Rogen's comedy style, you know? He kind of just states the obvious in every movie that he's in. And by the way, this movie's actually based off a short film that Jay Baruchel and Seth Rogen made back in 2007. It was like a nine minute short film. So what they did is they took that concept and just expanded on it and made This Is The End. Now the greatest thing that this movie has going for it is all these actors essentially just play themselves or extensions of themselves. You know, for instance, they make fun of Jay Baruchel for kind of being a two-faced asshole who hates Hollywood. And I don't really know much about the guy's personal life, but I'm willing to assume that's truly how he feels. Also in the movie, they make fun of Seth Rogen's laugh and how annoying it is. And I really enjoy things like that. When they can make fun of themselves and have self-deprecating humor, that's like my perfect comedy blend style of humor. That's what makes me laugh. And all these guys are masters at that. You know, Danny McBride in this movie plays an asshole. And as far as Seth Rogen playing himself in this movie, it really wasn't that much of a stretch compared to any other Seth Rogen movie you've ever seen. I mean, even in The Green Hornet, he played Seth Rogen. Now this is a raunchy comedy movie where these six guys are they're stuck in this house. The apocalypse is happening outside. There's tons of cameos from other actors playing themselves. You know, one of them's Emma Watson, who, by the way, yeah, she's, I liked her in this movie. Um, something about her holding an axe really does something for me. Now, one of the best comedy aspects about this movie is all these characters are making fun of each other. There's a lot of banter going on. Um, and one of the best things is they all make fun of, like, real-life situations that they've been in. You know, for example, they make fun of James Franco's movie, Your Highness. Now, the comedy in this movie is funny. Nine out of ten jokes I found funny. I laughed out loud throughout this entire movie. Laughed out loud. Has that... Before people started typing LOL, was that actually a term people ever said? I don't remember. Pulp culture scares me. Doesn't it scare you? Really think about pulp culture for a second. That shit's scary. It like implements into your life even though you don't want it to. Now one of my favorite things, did I just get too excited? Like, what the hell was that? Anyway, one of my most favorite things about this movie is all the movie references in this movie. You know, they, they mentioned Terminator 2. They mentioned tons of other movies. Now, I wanted to get serious for a moment here. I wanted to talk about the best and funniest cameo I've ever seen in a movie. It was in this movie here, and it included Channing Tatum. That cameo is worth the price of admission. Trust me. This movie really did bring out the best comedic performances from all these guys. I mean, it really allowed them to do what they wanted to do and, and get away with it. So based on everything, and because this is a comedy movie that's funny, I'm going to give this movie an A-. minus. It's a fun time. I recommend to go check it out. So here's my question to you. If you were stuck in an elevator for 24 hours, which celebrity would you want to be stuck with? Let me know down below in the comments. And if you haven't already, check out my last review where we talk about the movie The Purge and I go on a two minute inner mind rant about everything I found wrong with the movie. So anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.